Hey guys, it's DJ here from DJ and Riggers, and today I am the game guider, not Riggers. Okay, today I have for you a very basic redstone tutorial for people who either haven't used redstone or have trouble with it. So firstly, a quick reference to finding redstone. Redstone is commonly found on the bottom 16 layers in Minecraft and is also found in dungeons and also simple mining by one of the many techniques in those 16 layers closest to bedrock. Note that you can find this everywhere else, but it is in uh, smaller supply. Okay, firstly I'll show you how to make a few of the common items associated with redstone. Firstly, a redstone torch. This is a power source. Next we have a repeater or diode. It can extend power length and provide direct currents and much more. Now is a wooden pressure plate. It provides power when it's stepped on or something is dropped on it. Same goes for a stone plate, except you can't drop items on it to power it up. And here's a lever. It's a power source when switched on. Next we have a standard piston. This when powered will push objects away from it. To make a piston hold what it pushes and to pull it back, add a slime ball to it to make it a sticky piston. And this here is a dispenser, and it will shoot or dispense something stored inside it upon, be upon being powered. So redstone dust, right clicked onto the ground, makes up the wiring, so to speak, and provides a route from the power to travel through. So there are various sources of power. The main one I'll use is a lever. And next we have a redstone torch and a lever. And here's a pressure plate, which um, is activated when stepped on and this one's a button it offers a short pulse of power and the last form of power I'm covering is a detector rail uh, when it's run over it provides a power source there are many uses for redstone here's just a basic one a door a fence a dispenser a piston a note block a redstone lantern, a powered rail, just to name a few. Okay, a few errors that can occur in your wiring can be assessed and analysed like this. This door needs a current that goes directly to it, not just beside it. Okay, here's a double loop, which isn't a problem until the repeater is added. It provides an infinite loop of power that will not go out and can only be fixed like that. Power only travels around 10 blocks, I believe, and the power needs to be extended if it goes. This can be done through adding a diode into the wiring. Okay, that's it for the basic redstone tutorial. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for many more great videos. And our advanced redstone guide will be up shortly. DJ out.